a few new stories for you first viewers uh, 48 hours ago i shared a picture with you from a monastery the picture was from uh, valdiba monastery which is on uh, vulkayet uh, salmati border uh, the picture showed a tdf fighter standing in front of the monastery the picture was being shared by tigray backed news sources uh, as a proof that uh, tigray forces uh, were in control of the monastery and places areas close to it now amhara news sources have shared a picture from the very same place we'll have a look at two pictures and try to compare them uh secondly harmila eregavi uh main force behind no more movement uh, american journalist has arrived in ethiopia a few hours ago she landed on uh, bol airport at is ababa she was welcomed by uh, ethiopian foreign ministry officials and uh, heli gabriel silasi ethiopian athlete And lastly, viewers, Human Rights Watch, an independent international body, today released a report about uh, detention of thousands of Tigrayans. Those Tigrayans who uh, were deported uh, by Saudi Arabia when they arrived in Ethiopia, they were detained. We'll try to analyze the report of Human Rights Watch. Firstly, viewers, uh, uh, I think forty-eight uh, hours ago, I shared a picture with you uh, of a monastery, uh, which is, I think, on Vulkayet, the Salmati Bor, Valdiba Monastery. Uh, you can see the picture. The picture shows a TDF a fighter standing in front of the monastery. And this picture was being shared by Tigray back news sources as an evidence that monastery uh, uh, was under TDF control. Yesterday, last night, I would say, uh, Amhara news sources shared a picture from the very same place uh, from where uh, Tigray news sources shared the picture. You can see the second picture, uh, which is being shared by Amhara news sources. and they say that the monastery is under the control of amhara forces ethiopian government forces in the picture ethiopian government soldiers can be seen standing in front of the monastery now let's have a look at these pictures uh, side by side uh, to your right you can see the picture uh, shared by tigray back news sources in this picture uh, a small mountain high place can be seen in the background of the monastery and you can see some greenery on that uh, small mountain to your left is the picture shared by amhara news sources in this picture the mountain uh, behind the monastery is dry it means one picture is from dry season and the other was taken in a green season what is the season uh, these days in vulkayet on salmate vulkayet bor where this uh, monastery is located i don't know about the place uh, if it is a dry season and uh, there is no greenery then it means that monastery is under amhara ethiopian government control if there is greenery and the weather is cloudy there then we'll have to say that monastery is being controlled by tigray defense force but yesterday we did get some information which i shared in a video that tdf was somewhere in my gaba too so tdf has entered volkayet we have received this confirmation but controversy about this monastery is going on because both sides have now shared their evidence second viewers uh, harmila regavi american journalist uh, 
who started no more movement which was basically against uh, alleged uh, foreign uh, and US intervention in Ethiopian internal matters has arrived in Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopian PM Abiy Ahmed, Ethiopian government invited Ethiopian diaspora for holidays in Ethiopia. Thousands are arriving in Ethiopia uh, from other African countries as well. People are being invited. Yesterday, I told you about uh, Nella, Nella Lux, a South African uh, activist who reached Addis Ababa yesterday though his visit is being criticized by some Ethiopian circles. Harmila has arrived in Ethiopia. She was welcomed by Ethiopian foreign ministry officials and an athlete Heli Gabri Selassie, who has been supporting PM Abiy's government in the ongoing war. She is enjoying a celebrity status in Ethiopia because of her social media campaign, No More Viewers. It was basically a social media campaign, but it has turned into a movement. We saw the start of the social media campaign, then we saw massive rallies in the US, in European countries as well. Now, an effort is being made to convert this No More movement into a pan-African movement. So, Harmila Regavi uh, is being warmly welcomed. Now, uh, People from other African countries, they will also join Ethiopian diaspora. And uh, we could see the start of a new Pan-African movement from Ethiopia in coming days. Last viewers, uh, Tigrayans, they are suffering this Tigrayan civilians, whether inside Tigray or outside Tigray, wherever they are. In Sudan, they are refugees, they are suffering. In Tigray, they are under siege. In other parts of Ethiopia, they are being uh, profiled. Those who were in Saudi Arabia, when they were deported from Saudi Arabia to Ethiopia, they were detained. Human Rights Watch, which is an independent international human rights body, a few hours ago released a detailed report. HRW, Human Rights Watch, says that deportees, Ethiopian deportees from Saudi Arabia when they arrived in Ethiopia. Tigrayans among these Ethiopians were detained. Thousands, yes the number is, thousands of them were detained, mistreated and tortured. Why? Just because of their ethnicity. They were accused of being members of TPLF. They were not allowed to travel to Tigray. They were kept in detention centers in Addis Ababa, in Samara Afar, in Jima Oromia, and in detention center in SNNPR. So far, Ethiopian government has not responded to this report of Human Rights Watch, which is an independent body, not backed by TPLF. Tigrayans are suffering viewers in Tigray, in Sudan at refugee camps, in Ethiopia ethnically profiled and as deportees they arrived in Ethiopia from Sudan but they were arrested, they were detained, they were tortured. That is what is happening in Ethiopia now. Ethiopian government must realize that Tigrayans are citizens of Ethiopia. Tigray wants to remain part of Ethiopia. You should not push uh, people of the region against the war. Treat them as you treat other Ethiopians. Things have happened, yes, no doubt. There are grievances, there are fears as well. But being the government, it's Ethiopian government's responsibility that Tigrayans are not discriminated against. Let's see, uh, still reportedly a large number of Tigrayans are in detention centers across Ethiopia. Thanks for watching.